The coronavirus outbreak forced skiers and snowboarders off the slopes early this season. And that's when one boarder decided to turn her unused gear into critical equipment. Here's Carter Evans. When snowboarder Anna Gasser flew down the slopes of the Olympics in Sochi, Russia, there was no way she could have known some of the gear she was wearing would one day help in the battle against COVID-19. The idea came while isolating at home, where we reached her in Austria. My whole garage is full with old snowboards and old goggles. It turns out those ski goggles could be put to a great use by doctors. If your eyes are bare, they're very exposed, and that's a way for the virus to jump immediately into your body and attack you. Dr. Marsha Glass and her colleagues were running dangerously low on protective equipment when a fellow doctor sent a box to her home. I opened up and I just see boxes and boxes of goggles. They were ski goggles from a group called Goggles for Docs that's been taking in donations from sideline skiers and snowboarders around the world. Did you ever think that you would be outfitting doctors with personal protective equipment? <laughs> no, I don't think anything, anyone would have thought that it came that far and so fast. Signs are now popping up in ski towns everywhere. We found Paige Rouch making a drop off in Salt Lake City. Saw this goggles for docs and so I went through my stuff and grabbed a pair and dropped some off. In just the last few months, Goggles for Docs has delivered more than 30,000 pairs to medical workers in need. It's like going fishing. You come down and go, whoa, what do we have? Nathan Rafferty is one of the U.S. organizers, volunteering at a time when ski resorts and towns like Park City are shut down. We estimate that our industry lost close to a quarter billion dollars in revenue. The work they replaced it with? Priceless, says Dr. Glass. I am so touched. It, it's really an inspiration for me to think about stopping and doing a totally selfless gift for people you'll never meet again. In this case, it's the gift of safety with a little bit of style. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.